Well, so my people, how are you doing? Here we come here again, and now we start talking about the hows. I mean, in the hows, which are the words we're going to learn here? I mean, the places in the house, and what you do in the places in the house, and what are the things you have in the house? So, this is the unit for us to learn a little bit about the place you live in. Let's go, but of course, before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and, you know, stick around because we're going to learn a lot here. And don't forget, we've got more than 90 courses today so that you can come and improve yourself. And, of course, if you want some more English, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, Professor Rui Ventura, and YouTube.com.br, Professor Rui Ventura as well. So, just let's get together, learn some English, and... Well, that's it, I guess. Enough, right? Let's get started. So, first things first. In today's class, I'm going to ask you something. I want you to listen to me carefully. You're going to need to pause many times today. Yeah, because you're going to need to have some studies in between the class, right? So, first thing is, I've got a picture here. I want you to take a look at this picture. You know, this is the house, you know, like normal house. You've got all the places here. What I want you to do with this thing is, you've got some numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yes. So, these seven numbers, I mean, from one to seven, which are these places? Could you name these places? Well, if you got my first course, you can do it. If you didn't, it's okay. Now, I want you to pause the video. Now, pause the video. Go search the name of these places, okay? Pause. Did you do it? No? Pause. Go search. Hope you've done it. If you didn't, okay. What can we do? So, uh, I've got here a floor plan. This is called the floor plan, right? It's seven numbers. And I want you to know which places in the house are these. But before that, this is called a, uh, a, the floor plan. Why? Because it shows the, the plan of the floor of the house. You can see the places here. There's another word for that, which is blueprint. I forgot to put an image here of a blueprint. A blueprint is the same, but just, you know, just the lines showing the places much more simpler and usually it used to come in blue right that's why it was called blueprint so blueprint and floor plan are the same thing just a place uh, a document where you can see where the things are in the house right so once you've got the numbers with the names i've got another activity for you right now because the next page here it's going to show you some sentences. Let's go through these sentences one by one. Okay, here we go. Number one, the place where you receive your friends when they come visit you is the... What's the name of that place? Do you know? Okay, it's one of these ones here. Usually people receive people in this very place. You know, here you've got the door, the front door, and then there where my finger doesn't get is the place where you sit with people, talk, right? That, that place you stay with. Even not, not even just people who come visit you, but sometimes with the family, you know, you got together in that place. So I want to know what place is that? Number two, the place and the house where you serve the meals. Okay, what is this place where you serve the meals? Where do you serve the meals in your house? Okay, I want you to just answer here. I want you to write here, yes? Like, the place where you receive your friends when they come visit you is the... I want you to write it here. Yeah, not in the screen, but in the paper. You probably have it now, right? Number three. Oh, I'm sorry. Number two, the place where you get your meals served. Number three, the place... Uh, I'm sorry, it's not here. It's where. The place where you prepare your food. Okay. Many people, they cook the food in that place and they eat at that place as well. But some people, they cook the, cook the food in one place and then they go to another place to eat. So, what are the names of these places? Next one, which is number four, is 
When it's time to rest after a hard day, you go there. Where do you go when you want to rest? You know, the, the day is over, you're in pieces like, oh God, I'm tired. Where do you go to rest, to sleep? Number five, the place you keep your clothes in. Okay, what is this place where you keep your clothes in? You know, you get your clothes, you get your laundry, you go there, okay, here they are. What's the name of this place? I want to know. Number six, after too much, uh, after too much, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a word missing here. After too much food or drink, okay should be food there. After too much food or drink, you may need this place. Yeah, if you eat a lot or if you drink a lot, you need to go to this place to put it out, if you got me. Number seven, the place in the house you put your cars in. Okay, where do you keep your cars? Okay, this is very easy, come on, because it's very similar to Portuguese. So, I want you to pause the video again and complete these seven sentences according to this picture here, I want you to complete this stuff, right? Go ahead, pause the video, do it now. It's about time, yes, finished, done. I hope you did it, I really hope you did it. Now, let's check if you got the places right, okay? And let's work some listen and repeat so that you can learn these words here. Uh, in a better pronunciation. Let's go. Number one, it's the living room. Number two, it's the dining room where you take your people to eat. Number three is the kitchen where you cook your food. Number four is the bedroom where you go to sleep after a hard day work. Number five is the closet where you put your clothes in. And then you got number six, the bathroom. Of course, if you eat a lot or drink a lot, you, 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 you got to rush there, right? Yes. And the place you got your cars is the garage. So really easy. Now I want you to listen and repeat after me sentence by sentence. Let's go. Okay. Stick around. The place where you receive your friends when they come visit you is usually your living room. Fantastic. Number two. The place in the house where you serve the meals is your dining room. Fantastic. Okay, let's pay attention to sentence number three. Remember, the third word is not here. It's where. It's not here, it's where. There's W missing there. So, the place where you prepare your food is the kitchen. Fantastic. When it's time to rest after a hard day, you go to the bedroom. The place you keep your clothes in, oh, I'm sorry. The place you keep your clothes is your closet. Fantastic. Let's not forget sentence number six. There's food before or, right? After too much food or drink. Attention. After too much food or drink, you may need to go to the bathroom. Very well. And number seven. The place in the house you put your cars in is the garage. All right, beautiful, fantastic. Yes? Wow, no problems. Uh, maybe, yes, there is a problem. Let's check. Let's see this problem. You know, this is show me the floor plan, part one. Now, of course, there is a part two with some other places. Yes. Hui, it's a short class, like 10 minutes. Why didn't you put everything together? Because I, I want you to become my good students, the ones who follow what I say. I want you to be the ones who go search and study and, and really do your part of the job. And if I just give everything, it's too easy.
right? So pay attention again to this picture. You may see that some places are not listed from 1 to 7. And you're going to know that there are some places that this house doesn't have. So you're going to have to look more closely to different show, uh, floor plans, to different blueprints, so that you can find the words I'm thinking about that I'm going to teach you in the next class. But first, for the next days here, I want you to study floor plans. I want you to study blueprints so that you can come to the next class with a list of other places in the house. You're, you're going to find some of them. At least more four or five, maybe six, maybe more. I don't know, but there are more places and I want you to study them, right? Well, I guess that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to come back, listen and repeat as many times as you find necessary until you get to a point where you do this like, hey, I can pronounce it just like we did it. And when you reach that point, that's it. And don't do this just in this class, but with every other class you have here, right? So, enjoy your day and I'll see you next class.